Hello my friends and welcome to my second uh, English movie. Uh, today, I mean, today I will do a review on a, a Chinese natural redstone. Uh, the other day I loaded up a video with a review on a Chinese synthetic stone and I was asked what's my opinion about the natural Chinese natural whetstones. So I had one at home and unfortunately yesterday I cracked it, I broke it actually and a corner of it just broke away. But it, we can use it for the test and see what's happening. I'm going to use a normal kitchen knife. It's a cheap one, nothing special with it. Um, as usual, it's not very, very dull. It still cuts, but barely. For the purpose of this test, I'm going to pass it two times on the back of this... Uh, I, don't know the, I forgot how it's, how it's called in English. And you can be sure it's not cutting anymore. You can see it on the paper too. Good. So let's talk about a little about the whetstone. I I put it to soak. Uh, from what I used in the used it in the past, it's not a soaking stone, but I like to put my my stones in in water to be sure that they have plenty of water and then they can be. Actually, yeah, that's the. Uh, the word they have plenty of water. Okay, let me talk a little about this stone. It's a yellow stone, the slurry, yellow green actually stone. Uh, a little soft, actually it's quite soft. You'll see as soon as I start sharpening, sharpening with it, it will start develop slurry very fast. As in dimension, this one has 14 centimeters by five centimeters by almost a centimeter thick. Um, like I said, it's a yellowish green stone, actually brown, brownish green, I don't know the word, the, the actual color. So uh, I'll be using as a support, I'll be using another stone, which is covered by a piece of rag, just to be, like I show you in a previous movie, I like to have my stone a little higher, so I have plenty of, of uh, space in between the, the table and the knife itself. At, at the end of this movie, I will leave you a link with the, with the synthetic stone that I've tested. So you can see also the movie of that one. And like in previous one, just tell me your opinion. Good, bad, neither. Just say something. And so we can talk. Because if I see people talking about it, I think, I mean, I see that there is interest. So like I told you in the previous video, I take my Sharpie knife and just mark the Sharpie. I take the head Sharpie and I mark the edge of the knife. I'll show you in a second. As you see, it's blue. So I know once I start sharpening it, I know I, I've hit the right angle. The correct angle actually. Okay, let's start sharpening. As I show you in the previous video, I start from the tip. I keep the knife at about 45 degrees on the stone itself and just... I mean, more or less like a half a finger from the stone. And I just rub it back and forward okay let's see see there is still some blue marks on the knife but some marks are gone so we're pretty much at the correct angle continue for about another 20 passes And you can see the slurry already starting to build up here. 
it's a brownish green slurry. All the time I'm trying to pull the slurry on the stone so I have plenty of it. Uh, one other thing that I forgot to tell you about this stone is that the manufacturer say it's about 200, uh, 200 sorry 2000 grit whetstone natural whetstone so from time to time I just some water on it and continue as I see that the bird is not coming back on the other side As I told the guy that was asking me about my opinion about natural whetstones, I don't like them because they make slurry. <laughs> I don't like slurry and as you can see, if you watch the other the other movie that I just told you about it, I, in that one I've used a synthetic whetstone and on the whetstone, as, as soon as I start sharpening it, I see sharpening, I see uh, like a black residue which actually which is actually uh, filings from the from the knife so I see some burr coming coming up here at the beginning of the knife but not too much on the on this part so I'll do another few passes trying to raise the burr Like I said, I don't like the natural stones because they are uh, messy. They make a lot of slurry, which is messy. Anyway, now we're trying to see what kind of sharpening can we achieve with this kind of stone. Uh, let me show you the finish of it it's, uh, it's not easy to see the finish as I see it is a uh, hazy but quite nice fin nice finish okay let's put some water on the stone and do the other side too marker And like I said, I, I don't see the filings coming on this stone. The feel of it is, like I said, it's very, very soft. Mix slurry without using any, any Nagura stone, just by pressing the knife on it. Don't see bird coming out on the other side. Let me raise the camera. Yeah, that's better. It's not easy to see also if the marker has gone out. Once I wipe it to wipe, wipe also the marker hmm. don't know 
this feel, feels finer than the 2000 that they advertise feels more or less like a 5000 if I'm Also the feedback is more or less similar to a 5000 stone. Okay, let's see how the knife is. This will be the first part of the sharpening, be about part 2 and part 3. No, it's not catching the paper yet. Good. Let's go to alternative movements just to straight the bar oh, should be like this first I'm, I'm not pushing at all on the stone, I'm not pressing at all, it's just light passes and I can see it's a lot of slurry on it. I make a lot of mess. Take another piece of tissue paper, good. I don't feel the, the, the burr. Nothing at all. Okay, let's continue. We'll get we'll get to a result very soon. Okay, clean the knife. Only by touching it, I don't feel the edge on it. That is almost no edge. So I think it's much finer than and it needs more time on it that's what i like the synthetic stones are much much faster okay let's continue be very boring for you at a moment or so if it is just jump back jump <laughs> jump to the end of the movie and see the conclusions by the way, uh, like I said, if you have any questions, any suggestions, any anything, just leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer. And if you like what, what I'm showing you, just hit the subscribe button and so you will be notified ev every time that I post a new movie. Let me see the edge. No. Not at all. Okay. And let's see. Let's do some stroke movements. I mean, looking at the finish, the finish almost mirror polish so like i said i think i think actually it's a higher grid it's not for sharpening it's just for polishing i don't know if you can see it okay well 
keep drawing and see what's happening. So now we'll do some stroke movements. Fill the edge. Oh, it didn't improve at all. <laughs> at this moment, I hope you, I hope you believe me that I know how to sharpen a knife. Wow! Even if the edge doesn't feel as is sharpen. The knife, the knife is quite smooth. Surprise, surprise. Okay, then let's continue to do another, I don't know, 30, 20 or 30 passes, stroke movements, and see what's happening. Because I just got surprised. I won't be talking about the theory of sharpening because there are tons and tons of movies about sharpening on YouTube and I'll be just telling you about something that you already found or it's already on the internet. What I would like to show you is this stone which I didn't found myself but maybe I'm not that uh, skilled in finding movies I've also seen it in a few um, ads, 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 it's the correct word, word ads I mean a few sellers in eBay and AliExpress and it's called the yellow pulp stone so now let's do the alternative ones So I did about 50 sharp movements. The edge itself doesn't feel sharp. There is no burr. One other thing that I want to tell you about the natural stones is that the grid is given um, by uh, comparison with the with the with the synthetic stones. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, maybe now you can see something. The edge is almost mirror polish. Ah, I can see a nick there. Maybe not. It's just a... Good. Okay, let's see. Let's see the result. Let's move the stone aside because I'm bored now. I don't want to continue on it. 
There are, I think it can be used also for uh, razors, but not as finished stone, as a middle stone maybe. Only from the stone the, the edge seems to be quite okay. Doesn't catch on the top part of the paper. But after we use the strop on it, uh, it can be used. I wanted to show you a different kind of strop, but I don't have it here at this moment. This is the strop that I used uh, my day to day. And it's a piece of paper, a piece of uh, wood, and a piece of leather stuck on it with uh, dual. Uh, Dual tape, how is it called? Dual sticking tape, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, now the edge feels crisp and nice. You can see the, how is it cutting now? And then we'll go to much better to clean the strap a little, starting to catch the papers on the top part. Want to clean the stop and you see with the back of the knife just scrape it off and put some new wax on it just rub it on it back and forward okay now let's drop it a little more with alternative passes this time. Again, this is a video for people that already know how to sharpen I'm not talking about angles I'm not talking about anything because that's like I said plenty of movies on YouTube after the strop the finish is mirror polish as you can see it on both sides uh, let's test it on the top of the paper again and see if it cuts The result is not bad, quite nice. Uh, we'll test it also, see if it's shave ready. Yeah, it shaves here. Okay, yeah, you can see there is hair on it. If I do it a little more polish it a little more the result will be even better but what I feel on the hand itself when I try to sharpen the hair is the feel of the knife is not that I mean rough as with other stones that I used so like I said I think it can be used for for Cutthroat razors, I think they call or straight razors. You take a new piece of paper, take everything from here to have some space and see the result. Nice clean cut. I 
also on the top it's a little wrinkle there but as you can see it cuts from from the heel to the tip nice cut see the hair again as you can see it shaves so more or less that's it uh, well, let me take a picture so I can use this as a start picture take this By now you will see a lot of links to my movies, uh, just click on them, maybe you like them or not, just hit like, dislike, leave your comments below and I will try to answer. Uh, like I said in my previous video, I'm from Romania so my English is not perfect but I'll do my best. Thank you for watching.